Thank you very much. So let me tell you a bit about my testimony. I asked Jesus into my heart in Northern Ireland. I was so proud when my mum wrote in this Bible and dated it. I have the same Bible as you can see. Um, I continued my pathway with the Lord through Sunday schools, confirmation training, church services, scripture lessons, at the time probably all quite perfunctory. I led a very shallow relationship with God, whereby I called upon him when I needed something. I always believed, but I rarely made it reciprocal. However, I might add, I felt his presence and never doubted his existence. Unfortunately, I would just be a quieter voice around those that shared a large opinion. God showed up for interviews, difficult days, scary times, but I didn't read the Bible, and I rarely went to church and did not surround myself with Christian fellowship. I would attend church in Amesbury with my mum, and very fortunately later, with my father, which is my mum's very own special testimony. However, it was probably as much about spending time with them and feeling like I needed to make an effort. Occasionally I would be moved by certain services or the worship songs that would make me feel, that would fill my eyes with tears so I couldn't sing. But I would leave and not follow up by reading my Bible. I would pray, but it was quite good. I lived in Alain for six years under the assumption that the only church that existed there was a Catholic one. Therefore I couldn't attend, so therefore I needed to carry on my normal brunching on a weekend, going to the pool and spending time. God was always there, and I felt his love and support when I needed it, but I was incredibly selfish in my religion. And then my friend and work colleague, the lovely Catherine, mentioned towards the end of lockdown, Alpha, and I thought, I've heard of that. So being the naturally inquisitive and nosy person I am, I asked her a deluge of questions, and she shared that she had taken part in an online group. I was interested, but it got left until later when it came up again. A real in-person alpha group was to take place, and I realized that I wanted to go. So Catherine and I went together. I felt quite out of my comfort zone, unsure as to what to expect, but this is where I met the most incredible women, and my journey of discovery began. I think I intrigued these women as I always asked difficult questions, this being my inquisitive nature. This is something they have brought up time and time again since, as a strength of mine my curiosity, challenge, and my honesty. I began to learn words that I took for granted and probably never really understood, such as worship, Yahweh, testimony, omnipotent, and so much more. And I started making connections in a safe space where I could be vulnerable and questioning. I realized my journey was a bit like a Google map, going off piste regularly, but God always pulling me back and recentering me, something he was definitely doing at this time. I joined Alain Evangelical Church and was overwhelmed by the worship music and the complete variety of people representing so many parts of the world. I would sit with my alpha buddies and feel safe, still not completely comfortable when we had to greet others. I've always been massively shy in church, though people would deem me a confident person. I talked more openly about God with my friends and spent more time with my Christian friends feeling great together. I completed one alpha course but didn't want it to end. So I joined it for a second time, meeting new people. I became more likely to read the Bible, although I had some journey to go, learning and piecing parts together. I downloaded a wealth of worship songs on my phone, which really helped with tough times or when I needed to be uplifted. God gave me a very real testimony in Egypt, and again, he was there for me in the Philippines. He kept me safe and protected. My prayers became regular, and I found my favorite thing would be to swim and pray, or walk and pray, constantly chatting to God. When Alpha Course number two came to an end, I felt frustrated. I didn't want to leave it there. I felt that I needed a Bible study to help me learn and to understand more. So I approached, I approached my friend Pietru and her husband Piers, who led the Alpha group, and shared this. She said she too was looking for something else. So we cooked up the idea of a weekly Bible study at her house. And even if it was just the three of us, that would be enough. We prayed about it, and it happened. I went and asked all my Alpha friends, and before we knew it, we had a really healthy group of people attending every Thursday. We share food together and then study. It is amazing. It became, for the majority of us, our favorite part of the week. 
Our second study was Experiencing God, a most powerful workbook to share. It looked at so many elements of our journey, our love relationship with God, prayer and making connections, the Holy Spirit, the church, but in a very relatable way. It asked difficult questions and made us accountable. So in essence, I began attending church more regularly, talking to God frequently. I had the worst year in my teaching career, and he showed up every step of the way. And it was like the experience in God was sending much needed messages at vital times, such as having faith that things will turn out. God helped me through my roller coaster. The only thing I struggled with is what he was asking me to do ultimately. And I'm still not completely sure, but I will continue to pray to find out about that. I bought a study Bible. I've worked through my workbook. I've attended Bible studies, spent time with amazing Christian friends and family, and sent regular worship songs and memes to my mum. I want to be baptized, and I know my parents and Alain crew are super excited for this too. Hopefully someone will be at hand to video. Not something I'm particularly fond of, but it's a spiritual marker in my life. I now want to be more involved in the church as I'm supposed to be. I want to continue my Bible study and become more knowledgeable of the Bible and Scripture and help be a conduit for other people to know God. And I think he's been using me to bring so many people along to our Bible study, but it's baby steps. I'm sure there's so much more I could share, but I'm not sure you're looking to be here all day, and that water may get cold. One thing I will say is I am immensely grateful and fortunate that both my parents are Christian. I do believe we need to do more together with this, praying more, talking more together, and perhaps studying our Bibles together. However, everyone has their own comfortabilities and pathway, and I know they are actively involved with their church community. So this is me, and I want to be baptized so I may have a spiritual reset, be filled with the Holy Spirit, and continue on my journey getting to Do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your Saviour and Lord? Do you turn from sin and intend to follow Christ? Do you promise to live within the fellowship of the Church of Jesus Christ and to serve him in the world? Sister Melanie, having heard your testimony of repentance and faith, and your promises to God, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's just pray before you disappear. I can, I can sense you trying to get up the steps. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for Melanie. We thank you for her journey. And Lord, we wonderful to hear what she shared with us today. Father, go ahead of her. Prepare whatever you have in store for her next. And may she go rejoicing. Amen. Amen. Now you can go. <laughs>